Today, I'm going to go through a use case of PLTV for campaign management. We're going to understand how to get value and help decision-making using a predictive model built by Takan. So let's get started. First thing we'll do is we'll actually go to a train model we completed. Let's understand what is the PLTV model built. In the prepare data tab, we can see the predictive question we chose. Predict for each customer 30 days after their first purchase, the total revenue they will generate by 180 days following their registration. The idea behind this use case is we want to know early on what's going to be their expected value so we can make smart decisions about customer acquisition. In this specific case, we can see that the con generated the model using a myriad of, the, of transactional and demographic data. We have the conduct information, we have tables that show the customer orders, and so on and so forth. I can't generate this entire notebook automatically, so we can create a predictive model. Moving on, once we completed and trained the first model, it kind of helps us understand how good the model in terms of performance, and let's go deeper and understand what drove the model. We can see metrics like accuracy. We can drive into accuracy deeper and see what is the expected error in terms of bias or mean absolute error. We can go level and understand which attributes and features comprise the prediction. These all are aiming us towards understanding exactly what happened on the modeling front and can we entrust the model to make better decisions. However, the value actually comes from using predictions and not just generating models. So before we can go there, we need to schedule predictions. As we can see in this dashboard, this is a prediction you already made. It shows us the entire information and lineage for the run. But the place where we actually want to go to is driving more decisions. In the app tab, we can see multiple dashboards we've created in the past aimed to help us make better decisions. The specific question I want to answer today is which campaign should I keep and which campaign should I terminate? So how can I create a new dashboard? There's multiple ways. One way is use some of our pre-existing templates aimed to show best practices some of our customers have used in the past. Another option is to use a chat and start a free flow text and ask for a specific analysis I want the con to do. In this case, I want to create a list of campaigns with ROI of 15% or less. Once the con starts running, it will actually do all the required analysis to generate the SQL, the backend analysis, so that I can have the summary table. Once the con is going to be done with preparing my SQL, it's going to show me exactly what it needs to be done. And then I can ask the chat to go ahead and drive and make this analysis. Great. I'm going to add this widget to Pecan. Let's scroll down to the widget. Then it seems like the question I asked came back as an empty table. Let's go deeper and understand exactly what happened. So in this case, this is all the information required for my analysis. It could be that the threshold I put in was somewhat high. Let's try to see what happens if we do ROI of 20% or less. When I run this query, I can see that the can identified multiple different campaigns. So this is exactly what decision I want to make. Let's save this analysis. As we can see, I created in the past two supporting decision dashboards to help me monitor and understand campaign performance at all time. In this case, we can see the increased budget. These are campaigns with predicted ROI of 30% and above. These are campaigns I can consider increasing the budget. On the other hand, these are terminate candidates. These are campaigns with predicted ROI of 25% or less. These are the ones I either want to terminate, change the creative, or adjust their performance in a way that's going to improve my overall ROI. That's it for today. Thank you so much and see you soon in another clip.